Dear Beloved, Today, we gather to delve into the profound significance of being anointed by the Divine. As we explore this sacred concept, may the Holy Spirit open our hearts and minds to understand the transformative power that comes with being chosen and consecrated by God. Understanding the Anointing Psalm chapter 23 verse 5 Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. The act of anointing holds deep symbolism in scripture. It signifies consecration, empowerment, and divine favor. To be anointed by God is to be set apart for a special purpose, blessed with his presence and protection. Embracing divine purpose. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Being anointed is not merely a symbol of honor but a call to action. It equips us to fulfill God's purpose in our lives, to serve his kingdom, and to be vessels of his love and grace in the world. Walking in Authority Luke chapter 4 verse 18 19. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. With the anointing comes divine authority. It empowers us to proclaim the truth, to heal the wounded, and to bring liberation to those held captive by sin and despair. Through the anointing, we become instruments of God's mercy and agents of his kingdom on earth. IV. Honoring the anointing. 1 John chapter 2 verse 27. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. As recipients of the anointing, we are called to walk in humility and obedience, acknowledging that the power and wisdom we possess come from God alone. We honor the anointing by living lives that reflect his glory, by remaining steadfast in prayer and devotion, and by faithfully stewarding the gifts he has entrusted to us. Cultivating a heart of servanthood. Matthew chapter 20 verse 28. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. True anointing is marked by a spirit of humility and servanthood. As recipients of God's anointing, we are called to follow the example of Jesus Christ, who came not to be served but to serve others selflessly. Let us humbly submit ourselves to God's will, using our anointing not for personal gain but for the betterment of those around us. Vi fostering intimacy with God. James chapter 4 verse 8. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. To fully experience the power of the anointing, we must prioritize our relationship with God above all else. Drawing near to him through prayer, worship, and studying his word strengthens our connection to the source of our anointing. Let us commit to fostering intimacy with God, allowing his presence to saturate every aspect of our lives and ministry. 7. Walking in obedience. 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 22. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. The true test of our anointing lies in our obedience to God's commands. Let us heed his voice and follow his guidance without hesitation, trusting that his ways are higher than our ways. As we walk in obedience, we demonstrate our faithfulness and dependence on God, allowing his anointing to flow freely through us to accomplish his purposes. 8. Bearing fruit of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22-23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. The anointing of God equips us to bear fruit that reflects his character. 
Let us strive to cultivate the fruits of the Spirit in our lives, allowing love, joy, peace, and other virtues to flow abundantly from us. As we bear such fruit, we testify to the transformative power of God's anointing in our hearts. Rx. Discerning God's Voice. John chapter 10 verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. One of the greatest blessings of the anointing is the ability to discern God's voice amidst the noise of the world. Let us tune our ears to his gentle whisper, seeking his guidance and direction in every decision we make. By following the voice of our shepherd, we walk in paths of righteousness and experience his leading in profound ways. Impacting the world with compassion. Matthew chapter 25 verse 40. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. The anointing empowers us to be agents of change and compassion in a broken world. Let us use our God-given gifts and talents to make a positive difference in the lives of those around us, especially the marginalized and downtrodden. As we extend love, mercy, and kindness to others, we reflect the heart of our Heavenly Father and fulfill His purpose for our lives. Beloved, as we embrace the anointing of God, let us walk in humility, cultivate intimacy with Him, and bear fruit that glorifies His name. May we discern His voice, follow His leading, and impact the world with His love and compassion. Remember, the anointing is not for our exaltation but for the advancement of God's kingdom and the glory of His name. Let us steward this precious gift with reverence and gratitude, knowing that through his anointing, we are empowered to fulfill our divine purpose and make an eternal impact in the world. May the Lord continue to pour out his anointing upon you abundantly, filling you with his presence and power as you walk faithfully in his ways. In Jesus' name, Amen. Bearing Fruit of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22-23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. The anointing of God equips us to bear fruit that reflects His character. Let us strive to cultivate the fruits of the Spirit in our lives, allowing love, joy, peace, and other virtues to flow abundantly from us. As we bear such fruit, we testify to the transformative power of God's anointing in our hearts. Discerning God's voice. John chapter 10 verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. One of the greatest blessings of the anointing is the ability to discern God's voice amidst the noise of the world. Let us tune our ears to his gentle whisper, seeking his guidance and direction in every decision we make. By following the voice of our shepherd, we walk in paths of righteousness and experience his leading in profound ways. Impacting the world with compassion. Matthew chapter 25 verse 40. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. The anointing empowers us to be agents of change and compassion in a broken world. Let us use our God-given gifts and talents to make a positive difference in the lives of those around us, especially the marginalized and downtrodden. As we extend love, mercy, and kindness to others, we reflect the heart of our Heavenly Father and fulfill His purpose for our lives. Beloved, as we embrace the anointing of God, let us walk in humility, cultivate intimacy with Him, and bear fruit that glorifies His name. May we discern His voice, follow his leading, and impact the world with his love and compassion. Remember, the anointing is not for our exaltation but for the advancement of God's kingdom and the glory of his name. Let us steward this precious gift with reverence and gratitude, knowing that through his anointing, we are empowered to fulfill our divine purpose and make an eternal impact in the world. May the Lord continue to pour out his anointing upon you abundantly, filling you with his presence and power as you walk faithfully in his ways. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please like and subscribe to Make Everyday Biblical.